Hey guys, it's Alex, and today we're going to be going for round two of our Twitch tutorials for the night, and that is going to be how to get your chat onto the stream, how to get your Twitch chat onto your stream, okay? So, uh, you should be up to this point already, uh, this is the second video of our little tutorial series, and so you should know how to add a game, and you should know how to add your webcam, okay? If you don't know how, you can go ahead and click right above my webcam right here, I'm going to add a link to the previous video, and you can watch that before you watch this one. Alright, so assuming you're here, um, the benefits of adding a Twitch chat to your stream is one for past broadcasts. What that is is after you um, you stream, Twitch will save the uh, stream for the day uh, onto your Twitch channel as a past broadcast, as long as you enable that setting. And so um, it's good for the past broadcast because anybody watching the the broadcast over again is able to see what all the conversations were about in the chat, and you don't just look crazy like you're talking to yourself one-sided. So it's just kind of nice. Plus, it can be used to sort of make your stream look a little, a little bit nicer, a little bit more professional, or like take up some empty space that you might have on the stream. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So first thing you're gonna want to do is go over to um, this site right here. So we're gonna go to nightdev.com slash better TTV okay once you get here um, you're just gonna download it if you're using Chrome just go ahead and click that or for another browser uh, it's a very simple download and what it does is it just is a plugin that updates twitch.tv uh, and you can see it has a couple features like blackened mode you can go into that or um, channel display settings panel you know like there's a ton of settings you can change in here like different emotes and stuff like that um, they're only for you or anybody else who has uh, better twitch TV but it will help for your stream okay so download it and once you install it uh, you just want to go want to go to your twitch channel so just go to twitch and the channel right here and once you get here the chat's gonna load and uh, you'll see a little message in there that will say better TTV has loaded so let's wait for that real quick and once it's up there alright you can see that I already have some chat in here okay so it says better TTV 6.8 loaded Okay, so that's what we want to see. And so what you want to do is just go ahead and minimize this little bit right here. And click this little cog right there. And you can see the pop out button. That's what we want to do because we want to get this window to be on its own. Okay, I'm going to minimize Minecraft for now because we don't really need it for this tutorial. Um, so wait for this to load and you'll see better TTVs loaded. Okay, and one of the options it gives you is this right here. It's black chat chroma key. Okay. That's what you want to click because it's going to turn the background black and uh, sort of help us out here. So um, it doesn't really help for having a black name here, but let's just say if I type some more. Okay, so you want to get some some chat in here, and obviously this will just happen naturally um, as your viewers are talking to you. But from this window, all you want to do is let's see. You're going to bring this over. Let's go ahead and minimize that window. All we're dealing with is these two things here. Okay, so what you're wanna, gonna want to add to your sources, just right click, add, and you're gonna use a window capture. Let's click the window capture, let's name it chat, okay? And um, the important thing to do is, if you have your Twitch page up here, you can see that the URL for this and this are very similar, so you wanna just go to any other page. So I'm just gonna go to my YouTube channel and we'll, we'll minimize that because it'll confuse this program here, okay? So just click refresh if you didn't, and now you can see we've got Life in Pixels Twitch, it's the only window up right now, okay? So click that, and what you want to do, the only thing you need to do is hit subregion right here. And when you click select region, you can see it's showing you what part of the window do you want to grab. So this is good if you want to add an image from the internet to your stream, or uh, really anything. Like you can just select a little slice of it using subregion, okay? So you just click the little corners of these, uh, of this box here drag it to where you want it to be. I want the whole chat box to be in my stream. And then once you do it, just hit enter. It's easy as that, okay? Uh, so now that we hit enter, we're going to hit uh, use color key. That's the last thing we need to do. Use color key, select, and just choose the background color. So that's gonna be black in this case. All you do is hit select and just click it. Click the background color. And then once you do that, you hit okay. And you can see our, our chat is already here. It's right in the stream okay and so you can see it's pretty cool uh, it's very useful for when you're in game so let's go ahead and pull this up here um, let's see put minecraft on let's go ahead and switch to this monitor it's gonna look like crap for a second hold on let me go ahead and uh, maximize minecraft and go ahead and 
move it where it's meant to be. Okay, so you can see, uh, you see how you have this little black line to the right side? We don't want that, okay? So the way you're going to get rid of that is you have to pull up that uh, that chat bar again. Let's see here. Pull up your pop-out chat. We're going to pull it back over here, okay? And you just want to hit, uh, you know, right-click in your OBS on the chat properties right here. Properties, hit the subregion again, and just bring this in a bit. That's probably all the line is, is just, you know, you got a little bit of the sidebar. So just hit OK, and it'll fix it here, okay? So let's say that we were just going to have Minecraft up. Uh, let's maximize it. I'll put it over here on this screen. All right, and now you can see you've got your chat on the stream. And uh, so you just click your little edit scene button if you want to. Move this wherever you want. Um, and it's just that simple. That way, you know, when people are typing in your stream, hi YouTube, it'll pop up, and anyone watching your stream later uh, will be able to see it. Also, it helps people to understand that there's a, a delay between when, when they type in chat and when you actually respond in video, because there's about a 30 second delay on average when you're streaming to Twitch. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's kind of a short tutorial, but I hope it helped you guys. If you have any questions that need clarifying, go ahead and uh, ask them in the bottom. At the end of my series, when I've you know made all the videos that I want to make, I'm going to make a couple videos that just answer all the questions um, to the best of my abilities that are asked in the YouTube comments. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe if you feel like it. Thanks. Have a good day.